Welcome to our YouTube series, Five Days to Better Health. I'm joined by Shakira, who knows a thing or two about Just exercise. A, a little bit. And exercise can mean so many different things to different people. For some people, it's an addiction. It's something they can't do without. It's energizing. It's wonderful. For other people, it's something they avoid at all costs. But we need to exercise our bodies, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think even small amounts of movement can just have such a great impact on our health. And this is for anyone at any age. So say someone's become a bit of a couch potato, they're worried about their health. Where do they start? So for me, I think if you're starting out, one of the simple things we can do is just increase how active we are in our normal daily tasks. You know, so maybe we take the stairs a couple of extra times. Maybe we walk to the shops, enjoy some gardening. You know, just get a little bit more active in our day to day tasks and then we can progress on from there. And it all adds up, doesn't it? I mean, as a doctor, I, I would always rather prescribe exercise than any pharmaceutical medicine, always. It reduces people's uh, tendency to put on too much weight. It's good for reducing uh, cholesterol, reducing high blood pressure. It staves off type two diabetes. It's good for brain health. It's good, good, good. I mean, I can't think of any downsides. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, you know, there's so many physical benefits and then we also have all the mental health benefits that we can get you know from engaging in exercise and sometimes I feel like the word exercise or fitness can seem daunting but it just doesn't need to be daunting simple exercises can really help us to see a dramatic improvement in our health and you know well-being and contrary to, to popular belief exercise doesn't use up all your energy it actually creates energy doesn't it yeah exactly as you said you know by engaging in exercise we're actually going to have a chemical process in the body that helps us to get more energy and you know so many things are interconnected when we're looking at things like posture or strength or mobility they all impact each other and if we can work on something just as simple as correcting our posture we're going to be able to actually build strength and you yeah. know balance better and reduce that risk of falling you know if we were to say can anybody exercise what about people who are disabled people less able um, what would you say to them I would say that you know we would hope that we could find some movement and mobility that's going to help everybody and it doesn't matter how small the movement might be if you are chair bound for example there's still a lot we can do sitting in a chair that's going to help our body to get some of those health benefits that you just mentioned absolutely so starting off perhaps with our shoulders and our upper body uh, what can we do there so there's a really brilliant exercise that we can do standing or we can do seated this exercise is going to help us working the upper back and the shoulders creating some range of movement and strengthening the upper back so we're just going to sit or stand in front of a wall and we're going to start just placing our hand up onto the wall and all we want to do is walk our hand slowly up the wall and it might be that this is your limit if we don't have good mobility in our shoulders then this is where we might see that we stop and we come back down we're just going to work ever so slightly creeping upwards getting a little bit taller each time then if we can reach all the way up and we want to actually start increasing that strength in the upper back once we've achieved the mobility if you step closer to the wall just rest your nose on the wall we're not going to have a lot of pressure just resting the tip of the nose on the wall again we're going to reach our hand all the way up and then when we have that arm fully extended we engage the upper back muscles and we just lift the hand off the wall hold it for a few seconds release it forwards and then back down and that's really going to help us with not only mobility but strength and it's about baby steps isn't it to start with you can get there it's amazing what we can achieve yeah absolutely you know i think stiffness is a really interesting one and when we have stiffness in a joint such as the hips in and around the hips if that becomes stiff that's when we begin to overcompensate in other areas knees lower back and we might then experience pain in these areas so keeping mobile with our joints is really important. Absolutely. Talk me through some of the most useful exercises that, that you take people through. So um, when we're looking at you know the hips and we're looking at mobility there's a really great exercise we can do seated on the floor and we can support ourselves with our hands. And we're going to take our feet slightly wider than hip width apart and we're just going to drop our knees to one side and then we're going to raise them back up and we're going to drop our knees to the other side. 
and we're just going to move in this way and you might actually notice that one side is slightly stiffer than the other so I always notice on my left I'm a little bit stiffer already mm -hmm. um, so if we can just work both sides always making sure we work both sides equally that's a really great way to create mobility in the hips we've then got some other exercises you know, you were mentioning before about osteoporosis and bone health. If we get up on our feet, we're doing these weight-bearing exercises, which is where we're doing exercise standing on our feet. And this is really great to help us lie, uh, lay down some more bone tissue and improve that bone density. We can do that with exercises like reverse lunges. And again, we can hold on to a chair for support. In an ideal world, we step back into the lunge and we're going to have that 90 degree angle at both our knees as we bend down, coming back up out of that lunge. If we struggle to get that depth in the movement, then we can take a smaller step back in the lunge and just, you know, reducing the depth of the lunge, but we're still gonna get great benefits in the whole of the lower body, the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads, and it's also gonna help us with that balance that we need. One of the commonest complaints that I get in the surgery is backache. Yeah. You know, I've pulled my back, I've got a bad back, it aches, can't do this, can't do that. And the part of it is that our core um, stability and our core strength has just been lost. And many of us would think, you know, we'll do sit-ups, um, but we don't see our spine as a, as a tent pole yeah. with muscles on both sides. We only see ourselves as doing sit-ups. Yeah. And so our back muscles become weaker, but they should be equally strong. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you've just hit the nail on the head with that one. The core is so much more than just our abdominal muscles. And we've got some really key core stabilizing muscles. You know, the glutes are really important. Um, we want to work our, our lower back muscles, making sure that we have that complete spinal stability. Um, so it's absolutely crucial. There's some great exercises like the bird dog exercise, which is brilliant for working the entire core and getting that stability. Another brilliant exercise where we can challenge our balance a little bit, which is great. Just simple step ups. So if you've got a step in your house or a pavement or a stoop in the garden, just taking a step up onto that and lifting one knee, your other knee slightly up into the air, holding that balance for a few seconds, step back down. Stepping back up, the other knee comes up, hold for a few seconds and step back down. And just a simple movement like that that's gonna challenge our balance a little bit is great for working core stability and also for helping us again, you know, to improve that strength in our bones and our muscles. And I guess it's important to, to look at aerobic type exercise uh, as well as the anaerobic um, core muscle strength and, and joints. Yeah. So everything together. Yeah, absolutely. And that step up exercise we just mentioned does exactly that. So we really are looking at whole body health, you know, that as you've just mentioned, you know, we're looking at strength, we're looking at cardiovascular fitness, we want to look at balance, posture. And, you know, it can sound like a lot, but these simple exercises that we've mentioned today, they can do all of that just in these simple movements. And for people getting older, a bit longer in the tooth, resistance exercise is even more important because you lose so much muscle mass as the, as the days go by. And actually a bit of resistance exercise is good to stop sarcopenia occurring, yeah. which is where the muscles become uh, less strong, uh, more fibrous, less muscle mass. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, maintaining our muscle mass as we age is, is crucial for so many functions. You know, it can help to improve our metabolism. We know that the more lean muscle mass we have, the more efficient our metabolism is going to function. So, you know, it's really important that we do that. Resistance-based exercises don't have to mean weights. If you are new to resistance training, exercises like the lunge that we've just mentioned, really great resistance exercise that doesn't use weights and progressing to weights when we're ready. We do need to be mindful of um, something called progressive overload, which is where we continue to challenge our body. So the human body is really clever, as you well know, and it will always try to achieve a task with the minimum amount of energy expenditure. So we can do 10 lunges and the next week we do 10 lunges and if we only ever do that our body learns to do that quite easily and we won't progress. In order to see that progression with our fitness and our health we need to slowly challenge the body a little bit. Absolutely so our top tips uh, for our audience today would be exercise is important for our health and should be practiced regularly. Yeah absolutely I would say we want to be looking at improving our posture we want to be working with mobility and movement of 
of any kind, you know, I know that the current recommendation is 150 minutes of exercise a week, but even if you just manage five, 10 minutes a day, any exercise is better than no exercise. Absolutely. There you go, you heard it from Shakira. <laughs> exercise every day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Shakira.